Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're Tuesday, April 25th, 2023, and I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. It's a timeless read, so um, it's for whenever you feel drawn towards this reading, okay? Uh, I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. So if this is your read, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit, okay? It's not a good idea. Um, I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep things straight in my head, no other reason. Uh, bear in mind, it is a general read. Not every read is going to be for you, okay? It may strongly resonate with you, but you must use your higher wisdom and discernment when you're listening to general tarot readings, okay? They're not personalized. So the last thing I want, want you to do is go off half-cocked based on something you heard on a general read and make things worse in your situation, okay? So take, take a while, sit with it, talk with your spirit team or you know what I mean wait 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 until you get more information let's say okay I will be uh bringing out the tarot cards I'll give you the description of the card as it comes out as well as what I'm picking up intuitively you know your story best it could be all the descriptions some are one and then we bring it together at the end thank you for all of your messages your donations your likes and your shares and your subscribes I am truly grateful to you guys thank you thank you thank you for helping me grow this channel it means the world to me. You are my family. You are my, my, my soul tribe. We have a lot in common. And together we heal. Together we teach one another. T together we learn. And together we get through this thing they call life, right? And it's a beautiful life, isn't it? Good or bad, it, it is a beautiful life. Um, we're, we're, some people don't get the, uh, the honor of growing old. So just be grateful. Just that you woke up today, that God woke us up. <laughs> These are our alarm clocks every day, right? So give thanks to him. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Let's start this read, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. Thank you. The Dreamwalker. Dreams, the collective good, illusions, eight. Mm. Somebody might be want to now maybe in the past they weren't coming from an altruistic place but i think now somebody's going to take um come from a place of integrity honor and loyalty maybe they want to be loyal to somebody or somebody's it doesn't have to be whatever relationship this is they were hiding be behind a fake persona or profile or something um putting on a different persona which wasn't theirs i think they're going to stick their neck out and try to be honest with you they're looking at this one that's it's behind her back, right? She's not paying it any attention, but, um, or maybe this is somebody else that, that, that's the person that was fake in the person in, in the past. They were hiding behind somebody or a fake per persona. Somebody's going to stick their neck out, um, come from a place of integrity. They're going to, they're trying to build up the strength and courage, maybe to tell you something or come towards you and speak their truth. Maybe, um, that's hard to do, uh, you know, but you, you will do it. Once you do it, you'll feel much better. Whoever this is. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Spirit Whisper, Divine Guidance, Higher Knowing. Three. Three is the Empress in Tarot, male or female, it doesn't matter. Somebody has a high, a high wisdom here, okay? They're tapping in to Spirit, into their, their ancestors, into their wisdom. Um, it's, a, it's an all-knowing, I think I'm picking that up. If it's an Empress or an Emperor, damn right they know, okay? They're in tune with their ancestors and Spirit team. So... There could have been a lot of chitter-chatter, you know, a lot of gossip about an empress or an emperor. I say emperor, but it's an empress energy. It just means that uh, masculine can be an empress energy. It, it just means that uh, you're artistic and you're creative, right? Um, unconditional love. It could also be a mother and or a pregnancy. Whisper, whisper, you know what I'm saying? That's the underlying energy. That's the overlap. Uh, overarching the well watcher wisdom power of the divine again wisdom the divine's all over this seven is chariot moving forward having awareness radical acceptance you have to accept things sometimes we have a hard time accepting things and that's where things go awry uh, if it's a relationship oh i want them back i can't live without them and then on and on you know what i mean the longer you keep that going when you know it's over it's over it's time to heal from that i know it doesn't feel great i'm just using as a uh, a breakup as an example it could be anything okay a loss of a job or um, maybe you're up for something and it's uh, you know like a career wise it's really not your path maybe and you have to accept things okay it could be anything 
This is a well, it's an old decrepit well, um, meaning there's not much water in it, probably, right? You have to reach deep for those emotions. So whatever it is, you got to reach deep for those emotions. Maybe somebody's been blocking their emotions. It could also be somebody stuck in their head, or maybe they're confined, something of their own doing, and or pri imprisonment. You know your story best. It could be anything, right? It doesn't have to be all those uh, descriptions. It could be summer one, like I said, or none. Dreamwalker. So this is for the collective good. Somebody's going to do something for the collective good. Somebody was under some sort of illusion. And maybe it was their dream to be with somebody or a dream job or dream life. And it's, it's, that's, this is not your path. You're meant for something bigger, better, whatever. Or someone different, right? Number eight. Why is this? Clarify this, please. I'm getting the impression whoever this is has got to tap into their their feelings here. They've been avoiding their feelings. It's nasty work sometimes. It doesn't feel good, but it's the only way you're going to be able to heal from whatever this is. Peaceful amongst thorns. Uh, I didn't want to go there. Oh, God. So, on a mundane level, somebody could have been throwing, like, pot shots at you, trolling you, or, um, you know, backhanded compliments, or trying to get in your way. It could be any, it could be a, a gaggle of people, right? Because I'm seeing all these arrows going back and forth, but you, you remain peaceful. Or spirits telling you to remain peaceful, stay centered, okay? 26 is another eight, eight, eight. So abundance is near, bottom of the deck. Blinded to pain, 13, so that's a death. Something's coming to an end, something's changing. Um, if somebody has any spiritual gifts, they're, maybe they lost it. There's the gift of sight. Or now spirit wants you to use your intuition, but it doesn't look like it's a very good, you know what I mean, right? There's a fly here or something's, I don't know. It looks like somebody did something to themselves. It reminds me of somebody that does self-harming. Self so they know they've done something and they are responsible for it. They have to take accountability. It's more dark than light here, okay? Bottom of the deck, queen of my world. Somebody wants to be the queen of somebody's world or everybody's world, let's say. Uh, red flags were all over the place for whomever this is. 24 to 6. It could be a choice, a decision, a choice of people using your higher wisdom. You could be dealing with a higher level soulmate or twin. It could be a contract or an agreement. Dreamwalker number 8. Peaceful Amongst Thorns, 26, please. No, that's too many. Sorry, Spirit. Dreamwalker, number eight. Peaceful Amongst Thorns, 26. Thank you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting. Want to date. You have to remain centered. Maybe you're getting multiple options. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do know why I'm saying it for somebody out there. They're getting multiple options. Maybe it's, it's getting overwhelming. Maybe you just recently separated or single. Um, you just want to remain on your own, I think. I think people are projecting things on you, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Bot Girl with a snake. Empath. Narcissist. Paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable. And boundaries. Keep your boundaries up. Okay. Somebody's not taking no for an answer, and they did something they shouldn't have done. Wow. And it could be, it doesn't have to be love. It could be friends, family, it could be work, but somebody likes you, okay? It could be romance, it doesn't have to be. But somebody likes you, and they don't like the fact that they like you. Why them? Why not me? It's somebody that's so self-centered, okay? Okay. They want all the attention. That's what I'm picking up. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So that's what spirit wants you to do. Or this person who's obviously troubled here needs to uh, work on themselves, obviously, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light. Why is the dream walker here? Number eight. Peaceful among storms. 26. And I like you. I did a quick read before just to see the uh, get a feel of the energy. And again, we were dealing with somebody that was using um, energy manipulation, if you know what I'm saying. And they got a big surprise. It didn't work out so well for them. It's not been working out for them. They're getting ill. I don't know if it's mental illness or physical illness or I don't know. They're losing stuff. I think they're under um, divine judgment. But yet, they're still going to try. And I have to warn you. 
whoever this is, give it up. Okay, your track record's not so great. You're, you've gone up against somebody that's got higher spiritual ranking. And now it's just, I, I want to show them. I want to win. Well, you're not going to win, okay? It's going to not be so nice for you, okay? If you've lost a lot already, heed my warning, please. And it's coming from a place of love. I don't want to see anybody suffer any more than they already have. Give it up. Okay? Do that healing work. Do that... Uh, that's self-healing work. You need to. You're, you're hurt. You're hurting. You're hurting others. It's time to stop, okay? Spirit guides, what's the message here, please? Eight, it's not going to work. I can't make this up. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not. This Whoever this is is refusing to do self-work, you know? It's not going to work on you. Don't be a fool. Can't make it up, right? Don't be a fool. Maybe you're losing your job right now. It's one of the consequences when you're under divine judgment. You can't find work. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> yeah, there's conflict here. Could be a gang of people, five of wands. Somebody got enlisted other people to do stuff. This is jealousy, conflict, competition, fighting, and drama, overarching energy. Not a wands. Emotional wounding here. So you might be feeling a bit paranoid. Doesn't look too happy. Somebody overcame a lot, persevered, and they put up strong boundaries. So there, there's a block here, maybe an emotional block. Whomever the, this is that's been playing around, right? It's an emotional block of some sort. Yeah, because somebody's put the work in. Okay, somebody's a master of their craft. They're, they've mastered them, themselves. They have success. Maybe they're trying to block somebody's success. Why is the Nine of Wands here in the upright? Please, Spirit. Thank you. Somebody's unstable here. They wanted them unstable. This is somebody wanted you unstable, or this is a, a divorce or a separation. Somebody's not committal. They could be losing their home, their business, their stability. Party's over. Page of Pentacles. So somebody's gathering some information, maybe um, listening to tarot. Maybe they're down to the one coin here, the one pentacle, and they're thinking, I want a new beginning. I want to avoid a tower moment. Maybe I'm going to pay uh, for tarot read to avoid a tower moment. Ah, so somebody's spying through divination. That's not a good idea. Yeah, somebody's speaking some truths here. Queen of Swords, male or female, doesn't matter. This is somebody that operates on the truth. They're very astute and discerning. They're, in, uh, they're very intelligent and wise and intuitive. They have the truth of sword. They know the, 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 the truth of sword. They have the sword of truth. They know the truth. Um, they're, and they're very protected. She, normally you see the queen of swords, you don't see an, um, a shield with her. But she's willing to hear you, although she's not looking impressed, right? I say she, but it could be he. Um, it could be a professional of some sort. It doesn't have to be. It could be just somebody willing to hear your truth. But don't lie to this energy. They're sharp of tongue, and they'll tear a strip out of you, okay? They already know the truth anyways, right? Yep, high priestess, I can't make this up. Highly intuitive, okay? Or the truth is, um, there's been lies and secrets here. Maybe you did go see another high priest or priestess to do work on others. Take it as applies, but I think this is a good high priestess. Obviously, it's in the upright. There were, uh, somebody that hadn't spoken the truth yet. It's a, it's time. It's time, whoever this is. Yeah. Could be in a rust, letting go and giving up, surrendering, the hangman in reverse. Somebody's acting like a martyr. Okay. Somebody's no longer wasting time. Okay. Now they want to compromise. Well, I don't know. You don't have to speak your truth, though. The whole truth, you have to be transparent. If you want to compromise with somebody, don't hold back. Tell the truth. The whole truth. Yep. Take action here. There's conscious awareness. Okay, somebody has everything they need for success. The magician. Somebody's co-creating with the divine. Okay, they have higher wisdom and knowledge. That's all knowing. Okay, they don't speak it. They know it. They're waiting for you to open up. Let go. Open up. Speak some truths. They already know the truth. See, truth, truth. They know be something to do with a home or a business or the loss of a twin. Take it as applies. Everybody's story is different. So we have 
Ace, uh, Queen of Swords in the upright, High Priestess in the upright, Hangman in the reverse. Thank you. Mm. Somebody's turned their backs on someone. Somebody's um, ships are coming in. They're mapping out their, their future. They're expanding their horizons. They could be leaving and not coming back. Three of Wands in the upright. They're prepared or preparing. Okay, somebody's preparing. They're under judgment. They were plotting and planning, maybe. Okay, that could be it, it as well. This is uh, divine judgment and or there's awareness here. They want a second chance, possibly somebody at a distance. Judgment in the upright. This is a wake up call or a spiritual awakening. They want to come in from out of the cold. They want a second chance. So somebody's preparing. Because if they're under judgment, because of what they were planning to do or what they did, um, they're in financial ruin here, okay? They could be losing their health, losing everything they coveted here. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is spiritual jail, jail, judgment, spiritual jail, right? Yeah. Not a custom you for that here. So we have the judgment in the upright. Three of wands in the upright, judgment in the upright, in the upright, and the five of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is this here for the collective? Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, thank you. <sighs> Truth is coming out. Permit readers. So somebody is not aware. They're not awakened. Okay. Truth or, the truths are coming out. About magic. About some illusions and lies. They were working behind your back against you. Nothing was as it seemed. That's the moon in the upright. Or the truth is coming out how highly intuitive you are. They want to apologize now. Or it's something to do with a child. Be innocent here. Somebody's thinking about this. How am I going to do this? They're strategizing the four swords in the upright. Yep. How am I going to tell them the truth? How am I going to heal this? Temperance in reverse. Wow. Somebody did something very wrong. So they're asking themselves, how am I going to heal this? Is telling the truth going to heal it? I don't know. You're going to have to start praying to the divine. You know, ask for forgiveness. I, I don't know what, I don't know, okay? But you got to try. If things are looking really bleak and bad for you, you've got to try to turn this around. You've been given, I mean, I've myself, other readers, whatever. I mean, it's, there's billions of people in the world. It's not one person, okay? But there's a lot of people in this situation right now that they did something they shouldn't have done. They thought they were invincible. They thought, oh, it's not going to happen to me. I don't really truly believe in this stuff until they get neck deep in it. And guess what? This stuff does exist. It, it is real. You don't play in energy. You don't play with magic. You don't play with other people's lives. Bend wills harm. Okay? It will come back on you. And I've warned, I've warned, and I've warned since I started this channel. Um, it's part of my reason for being here. Okay? People are so flippant and... and glib with stuff like this spirituality they laugh at it but is it something to laugh at now when you're actually in this in the thick things i don't think so they're wondering possibly how am i going to get through this somebody has to make a decision here it could be a choice of lovers Lovers in the upright. It, lovers, the card has always been a card of consequence. So it doesn't matter what you choose to do, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse. Someone's always going to get hurt. Okay. Whether it's love, whether it's just a plain, just a decision, a contract. Okay. It's a secret contract here. Um, a spiritual contract somebody interfered with. I don't know. We'll see. King of Swords. Somebody's got to speak some truth. This is a, we have counterparts here. King of Swords, Queen of Swords here. So both of them are in the uh, no-nonsense, whomever, this, this could be professionals as well, but speaking some truths here, being strategic, being tactful, okay, make this decision, it could be a contract, it could be lawyers, who knows, but be very tactful, both of them are shielded, they both have the uh, sort of truth here. The king of swords, male or female, doesn't matter, yet again, somebody that's very mature and experienced, and uh, they make good decisions, um, they don't base their decisions off of hearsay, histrionics, you know, um, you know how people try to use the 
pull their heartstrings. It doesn't work. They're very, they're very matter of fact. They very rarely change their minds once they make their decisions out. So something with someone was not altruistic. Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody could have had uh, casual hookups. There's no love in this cup, right? They were not interested in love. They were just interested in hookups and or this was uh, a scam artist. Very uh, uh, insincere. Broken promises. No follow through. They, they, they love bomb me until they get what they want and then they're gone. And or this could have been spell work and they lost control of it. But whatever it is, if it was into casual hookups, they got an STD. This could be doctors they're dealing with. Or lawyers. This could be a divorce. I don't know. Could be a third party. Gave them, I don't know. So there's got to be some truth here. King swords and upright. Yep, there's competition, conflict, fighting, drama. Jealousy. It's a group. This could be a group of people. So let me speak in some truths. King of Cups in reverse. This is malicious, ruthless, um... Could be a father, king of cups in reverse, bad father, and or they're not the father. There's could be more than one party involved that could be a father. Not yep, yeah, that could be paternity. You're not the father, saith Mori Povich. I'm not laughing at the situation. This could be a paternity thing. This could be health. They're not happy. They're not healthy. They were doing stuff in the dark here. This could be just maliciousness. This is a uh, ruthlessness, self-absorbed, uh, somebody that's very abusive, always creating co conflict in your life, possibly, um, not a good father figure, if it's a father, it could be a f female in this energy, it just means that they're self-absorbed, if they do anything nice for you, it's because there's something in it for them, they could be an alcoholic, or partake in other things, um, yeah, a lot of fighting here, seven of wands in the upright, I'm getting the impression that um, this is kind of like a family trait. Maybe your parents went through this and then their parents went through this. Or somebody standing their guard. They had a higher perception here. People were gunning for them, but they had the advantage. This is spiritual protection as well. They're not happy that you're spiritually protected if this is magic. Well, you hit upon the right one or the wrong one, depending on which side of the, the fence you're on. This could be male or female, somebody that was drinking and not thinking straight here, okay? It's all, I don't see the ego card, but yeah, it's something that's ruthless. And Queen of Wands, there we go, magic. Black magic. Somebody's uh, very jealous. They're getting sick from this, okay? They're very jealous, they're very forceful, angry. Uh, they could be promiscuous. It could go either way. It could be magic or uh, something that's very promiscuous and just infecting everybody with stuff. Yeah, it's coming out in the public here. They want, They did this for attention. Six of Wands in the upright, obviously. Something that's very um, forceful, too. They're not independent. Queen of Wands, they're not a leader. They're clingy. Six of Swords is coming to an end here, whatever this is. Six of Swords in reverse, so they can't go any further. There's the troubles brewing. Okay, they're in trouble here. Why is Queen of Wands in reverse here, please? They used their sexual wiles to get their way. I can't make this up. Six of Wands, and you saw me shuffle. They did it for attention. So something's coming out in the wash, and they're worried about this. Wow, man of Swords. So, yeah, they're worried that you know. If it's magic or if they've been sleeping around, you know. Either or. I'm picking up both, okay? Um, each, each These reads reach a lot of people, okay? So it's not going to be just one way. and it, it could be both, okay? Or it could be one or the other, depending on what. So somebody's not eating or sleeping. They're being haunted, see? Their ancestors are haunting for, haunted by what they've done. And or they, um, whatever they sent somebody's way didn't go there. It's haunting them. You're getting the attention, all right? Can't make this up. Six of Swords. And I, I shuffled. You saw that. They're blocked. They can't move on here. They don't know what to do. This is trouble. Yeah. They wanted to block your happiness, I think, or family. Ten of Cups in the upright. They wanted to block your, your dreams from coming true. Uh, be careful what you wish on to others, even if it's not spell work, okay? What you wish on to others will come on to you if it's nasty. If you wish good things on others, that will come back on to you as well. So 
So be careful. Mind your business, in other words, right? What people are doing in their life, wish them well, clap for them, but mind your business. You know what I mean? You don't need to get into other people's businesses and, and, and incur this karma. Wrath, I heard. Six of swords in reverse. Nope, sideways. It's meant to come out at will again. Why do we have the nine of swords in the upright and the six of swords in reverse? Somebody's got victory, success, reward, and recognition, and they're really worried about that. Or they, they had a reputation of doing black magic and they were successful in the past. Now they're worried because they're not. It's come to an end. Yeah, no faith here. This is a uh, dark eyed priest or priestess. Okay, it's stopped right here. If it's a relationship, somebody's non committal, they don't want traditional relationships. Okay, if it's the cheating thing, it's coming to an end. Uh, this is divorce or separation. Uh, false contract, bad contract, didn't listen to advice. I know that uh, either way, somebody didn't listen to advice, right? They gave poor advice possibly, yeah, because somebody's pre-empress here. Or they wanted a life of luxury off your back, let's see. Yeah, they got a lot of, they wanted to prove the point that they were single, abundant, independent, stable and secure, self-sufficient, but you, you turned out to be. They're not happy with that. Oh, well. Or since you guys broke up, you're single, abundant, stable, uh, independent, and secure, self-sufficient. They didn't listen to your advice, maybe. Three empress, yeah, king of wands. This could be a spiritual leader or any kind of leader, male or female. This is somebody that's got ethics and morals, and they're very noble. They do the noble thing. They try to anyways, okay? They defend and protect uh, the underdog. They're very um, cal uh, creative and protected, protective, I should say, um, innovative. They're fierce and they're a warrior. Eight of Swords. They're letting something go. You're not renting space in their head. They're removing obstacles. Eight of Swords in reverse. Or they just don't care anymore. Take it as it applies. This, yeah, removing, they're letting you go or... If you were doing the wrong and or if this is you, you're letting them go that you found out there was um, the ultimate betrayal here. It's a harsh and painful end. You got to let something go or let someone go and work on yourself. Somebody's a master of their craft, letting go of the job, the work, whatever this is. Letting go, put an effort in somebody, maybe whatever capacity this is, they put so much effort in. They're not doing this anymore. Not to get smacked in the face all the time by somebody that's not altruistic and lying lying constantly, right? And maybe this is the King of Wands, male or female, uh, realizing that the, whomever they're dealing with just doesn't give a shit. They're, they're all about harming them. It's, it's an ending, though. This is, uh, cycles are ending. Ten of Swords in the upright. Family. Could be family. Could be a group. Ten of Cups in reverse. So we've scapegoated. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. Ten, ten, if this resonates. It's a breakup of a family or a group. Five of Swords. This is embarrassing, disgraceful. Somebody had a grudge against you. Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody's putting the, putting their past hurts behind them. They want to let go of this. Of course you do. Everything's kind of backfired, right? This is not... If it's uh, somebody that's cheating all the time and did casual hookups, this is embarrassing. Of course it is. They're not a family type of person. They're, yeah. The well. Sorry, this is a new deck. I'm just going to have to remind myself what the well is. Again, that we're dealing with a well with the Dreamwalker, right? So somebody's got a, this is um, the well, this is uh, this is the Ethereal Visions Tarot, Luna Edition. So I'm just going to, there's two extra cards in this deck, I forgot to mention that. So we have the well and the yard, it's those are the two extra um, major arcana. In the upright, it's nurturing, opportunity, nature, and creativity. So somebody's uh, let go of this opportunity, they're embarrassed, somebody's an opportunist maybe. They wanted to um, disgrace you and embarrass you, I think, on purpose, because they're not getting their way. Two of Pentacles, yeah, they wanted to make you look like uh, you were unstable. They wanted to, maybe right now they're embarrassed, or whomever this is, they're boring from Peter to pay Paul, maybe they're having fi financial difficulties. They have to let this go. Some of these could be mentally unstable as well, physically unstable, like we said, because it's Pentacles, right? Yeah, three of pentacles. They have to let go. They don't get along with others. They don't work well with others. They're alone. 
they can't get the help they need or they don't want the help. Whatever this is, it's somebody that doesn't put the work in, they're very lazy and disrespectful. Uh, it's the ending of a third party, a collaboration, or a contract. It's a breach of contract, possibly. They could be maybe having to claim, declare bankruptcy or something. They need to heal. They need to balance something out. Um, they could be dealing with an earth angel, somebody that's got higher spiritual ranking, somebody that transmutes all these dark energies, all these bad energies, whether it's cheating or magic, into healing, into um, love. Right? Yep. Six of Pentacles. They were giving and receiving with others. They need to balance themselves out or somebody's balance. Maybe they tried to make you look unstable, said that you were doing this, but you weren't. Okay. Yep. Speaking the truth, seeing the truth, coming out of denial, two swords in reverse, letting go. If you if you or whomever this is was mentally conflicted before, you cer certainly are not now. Seeing the truth. Something's gone past its expiration date. It's getting old. This is a profound and permanent end. Okay. Or that maybe somebody doesn't want this to end. Of a child, of a young person, doesn't have to be a small child. They want a new beginning here. They're going to be practical now, maybe. Or they wanted to end if you're a tarot card reader, because we did see the high priestess, your tarot card reading. But you they see your value and your worth. They want to seize an opportunity. Again, loss of a child. Wow, okay. This doesn't have to be an actual, you know, whatever, ending, but uh, something's come to a close. It could be siblings as well, coming from your past, unrequited love. So, again, the energies are all over, kind of. I apologize, but if this is your story, you got to know exactly what this is. Two of Swords in Reverse. Thank you. Ugh, I can't make this up, right? Queen of Cups. So, something's changed. This is the Phoenix Rising. This is a mother figure. It doesn't have to be. We have Queen of Cups in the uprights. Male or female. Some of this got unconditional love here. Very emotionally balanced, emotionally stable and secure and mature. Lots of love and compassion. Very sweet and kind. They have a big cup of love to offer. Could be a mother figure. Could be a father figure. It's something that's highly intuitive and psychic as well. And maybe you... Per I portended. Maybe you prophesied an ending here. If they tried anymore. Yeah. They're, you're telling them, seize the opportunity to end this, put this down, whatever this is, end this cycle. Okay. So, again, the high priestess or priest is warn people, stop it, stop it. It's not going to end well for you if you don't. Queen of Cups in the upright, and if it's magic and, or, yeah, they were line cheating and or stealing. Change, change, change. You can raise, like the phoenix rising, you can change your world around, okay? Somebody did something they shouldn't have done and they left evidence behind and or energy behind that any psychic and or high priest or priestess can pick up. Seven of Cups, this is diluted thinking. Multiple options if it's sleeping around. Somebody could have been bribed. They could have went to multiple practitioners here. Summoned up some nasty energy. Didn't know that uh, that energy's got to go somewhere. And if they're going up against somebody with high spiritual ranking, certainly not going to go there. It's going to go back to them. This was somebody that was jealous. They're unstable now. They're losing money. This was corruption, possibly. Somebody was very corrupt. They were lazy and jealous. Willing to... Um, Abuse their power and authority if they had any in the past. They certainly do, don't now. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have counterparts here. They were jealous. They were unfaithful. Unstable. Lazy. Codependent. Clinging. They're not a star. They don't want. They're not going to be a star. They, they have no faith. Okay. They're sick. They're losing hope. They have no spiritual protection. So it's two people doing this to you, maybe. Yeah, it was all for gain. Mine, mine, mine. They want your gifts or they want money. Ace of Pentacles. They're thinking about this. Opportunist. I think they do it for money. So this could be the same person or persons and or whomever they employed to do this or they had sex with because it could be money, uh, sex and or magic or both. They're all losing money now. Okay, because it's gone somewhere. 
They don't know what to do. They're trying to cover this up, but they can't. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. They're losing hope. You're still single, abundant, independent, um, self-sufficient, stable, and secure. You healed your own heart. Wow. This is a blessing in disguise for you. You're coming into union with somebody. Yep. And they're feeling left out in the cold. Four cups in the upside. They're feeling rejected by you. So this could be an ex doing this and or somebody wants to be single now. Heal their heart before they go into another union. If this is a cheating. Okay. How are we ending this, please? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. You're going towards your... Um, this could be family, partnered up with family here, t talking shit about you. Or that could be going on too, while you're alone, healing yourself. You're stable and secure. Maybe that's why. They said you were promiscuous. They said you were doing magic, but they were doing it. Ah, oh, I get it. They were talking shit about you. They partnered up with your family, possibly, or a group. And or now you're headed towards your spiritual uh, inheritance. Okay, because if it's your soulmate, it's going to be your soulmate. It's not your twin. Because I think you lost your twin or you turned your back on it. If it's a twin. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But this is a past life soulmate, possibly a very high-ranking soulmate. Somebody that's loyal. See, that dog is there. You're getting some instruction from somebody that's wise. This is long-term stability, security. Wow. New passion and opportunity. Lots of passion. Lots of growth. Ace of Wands. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups here. Wow, new beginnings. Somebody's coming in with an offer. I can't make it up. New beginnings. This is um, success. This is um, achievement, emotional fulfillment. It's coming in. It's beautiful. It's growth. It's a new passion. I think you'll be working together. It's going to be possibly bring in generational wealth or legacy. Okay, but this is spiritual inheritance or it could be an inheritance. But it's going to be long-term stability and security. Congratulations. That ended well. That kind of happened quickly. So that, obviously this is what you were dealing with in the past and or coming, it's it's ending now, what you were dealing with. And you're coming into, because this person, whoever, if it was magic, they knew what you're going towards, okay? You were going towards this and they didn't want this for you. How dare you? They wanted your destiny. I didn't see the wheel of fortune, but they certainly wanted your destiny. Yeah, lies. This is bad news. You're too strong for them. You've, you're a master. You walked away from them. They're facing the unknown. Three cups, egregious gossip. Could be a dismantling of a coven. The artist, you're very creative. I know that's what it means. Oh, that's the other uh, high um, major arcana card in this deck. And you see artist in the upright, visionary, interpreter, creation, passionate. So you are a high priest or priestess and you interpret correctly. Very creative, and love is coming in. There's an offer of love from your emperor, male or female. Page of Swords, There's, they're watching you. They're spying on you. <laughs> Congratulations. Your boss not taking back your power. The Dreamwalker, dreams, the collective good illusions. So there were a lot of illusions. Somebody's got some resilience here. Strength and courage, integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Always lead with integrity. Somebody was hiding behind a fake persona. Maybe I'm your twin. No, you're not. Or I'm your soulmate. No, you're not. You stuck your neck out for this person time and time again. No more. So be peaceful amongst thorns. They're going to be throwing shit at you, whether it's magic, whether it's, you know, pot shots, you know, insults or trolling. Ah, pay them no mind. You know who you are, right? I like you. So someone new, new is coming in or someone not so new on a soul level. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Stay, stay centered, though. Don't lose your head. <laughs> a real true romance, a real true relationship. You just don't jump into it. You know what I mean? You take your time. Get to know one another. Don't rush. You have plenty of time. You're right on time, okay? Spirit Whisper. Divine Guidance. Higher Knowing. Tap into that, okay? Three Empress. We saw the uh, Emperor earlier. Could be a, a, a male and Empress energy as well. You used your higher wisdom. You're, you're communing with the uh, spirit world. You're a high priest or priestess. Okay? You're highly intuitive. Blinded to pain. 13. So something's over. Somebody wanted to cause you pain. They're wondering why isn't this working? Well, because it's come back on you. If it's magic. and Or if they were cheating and sleeping around. Well, guess what? It's over now. 
They've done much harm to themselves, possibly physically, okay? Girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. Put up your boundaries. Keep them up, okay? Strong, strong boundaries against this person because narcissists like to step over them, right? They think they're entitled. They're not. Remember, narcissists, what you put out there is what you get back, okay? They just um, wanted to use you. They thought that their sexual wiles would charm you. Nah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not when you mastered yourself. That doesn't do nothing, okay? It's the soul that matters. Angels, how are we ending this read for today, please? What is the message for the collective for today? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles, new... Uh, this is a, a new opportunity coming in. There's an offer coming in. This is stability. This is beautiful. You can... Um, Build generational wealth off of this, um, a legacy. This is a gift. All gifts, uh, all aces in the upright are gifts from the divine, by the way. You have gifts, let's say. He's watching. You have the gift of sight, let's say. Divine blessings drive drives away evil spirits, rules agriculture and production. So you, you uh, were able to drive away whatever they sent your way. I take it it was like nothing. You were peaceful amongst thorns. <laughs> Page of Wands. You stood your ground. You're very inspirational. This is good news. 27, yeah. You're a hermit. You're shining a light on this. Could be an investigation, but yeah. Somebody has to do some soul work or you've done it all. Uh, you have high wisdom. The preventing God, propagation of light, confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. So they slandered you. They did all kinds of th things because you're going into union with somebody, I believe. Uh, 18, or this is a past love or your new love's past lover, let's say. 19, right? So that's the sun, truth, clarity, healing. This is the divine as well, shining light, uh, shedding light on this. The swiftly hearkening God, Lu Yi Yuya. Uh, fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. You could be a hierophant dealing with um, a contract, or this is a long, this is a, a commitment, a marriage. This could, again, this could be the divine, the sun and the hierophant together. Um, you could be going to court, nine, going within, investigation, do that soul work, shining a light on stuff. You could be a gatekeeper, showing people how to do this. The merciful God, divine forgiveness, obtains friendships and favors of the great, secures promises. So, if whomever is doing this, they want forgiveness, Start asking for forgiveness. Maybe the divine will forgive you of whatever this is. This is a twin, maybe. Four ones. This has something to do with a, a marriage, a commitment. A home, a business, some sort of stability. Mahasya, five, a hierophant. Again, the divine, the divine, five hierophant. Uh, the three cards indicating the hierophant, right? Didn't I just saw the sun? The sun was there? Oh, Duh. Okay, so somebody's stable and secure. This is a relationship, a twin flame. It can be a twin flame relationship coming in. It doesn't have to be a past life soulmate. Very well be twin flame. Here we go. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. And the tower. It's going to be a shock to somebody that they're going to have to lay off because you are the queen of cups. You're highly intuitive. Male or female, they're under judgment. Okay? It could be a mother figure that's under judgment. The tower. Uriel's all over this. The fire of God. Disruption, warns of disasters, aids in transformation. So we saw the transformation card, death, a few times. Somebody might be doing that right now, and my condolences. Um, or it just, they need to change. It could also be a resurrection type of thing, the phoenix rising. Ask Archangel Uriel for some help here, okay? He has some orders here, a scroll. He does not look too happy. He's got the sword of truth here. So it's like, you know, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. Somebody's not listening. <laughs> Please listen. Please, for your own sake, okay? Let's drop the ego. It's not worth it, okay? 44 at 14 when I said that. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light, how would you like to end this read for the collective, please? Orphaned. Wow. Five. It's a breakup, a separation, a divorce. Didn't listen to advice. Somebody's a dark high priest or priestess. Went against um, advice. Spiritual advice, maybe. Could be a crime. 
they're not looking too happy with themselves here. The big carrot nose is a liar, right? Why? They're asking why. Why is this happening? So that's five in reverse. Why is this happening? Somebody thought they were above the law or they had a God complex or they had no faith. Four in reverse. It's an emperor in reverse. They, they were corrupt. They had a huge ego. They were arrogant. Lost control. Bent to public pressure. They were getting attention for whatever this is. If it's cheating and or magic. Why? Well, you didn't go by the book. You didn't go by spiritual law, you know, uh, universal laws, if it's magic, and or just cheating as well. Like, why? Are you going to go in the book of life? I don't know. Change in the wind. They didn't want to change. They didn't want to change 12. They got to let go now. You got to let go. There's illumination here. You got to let go. It could be an arrest. It could be letting go given up they're acting like a martyr five in reverse i'm just going to read the protection messages here uh the shadow side of this card speaks to the essence of abandonment they feel abandoned okay perhaps you feel a need to remain apart because intimacy is too threatening it also warns against creating in inappropriate family structures in order to conceal conceal old wounds so this could be a family member that was doing magic um but to the one that they were doing magic to they already know and they're not going to go there again, you know? It's time to address the unhealthy alliances you formed and make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole, meaning be transparent. Tell the absolute truth and don't hold back. If you want forgiveness, that's the only way. Not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Don't abandon yourself. You can connect to others in a healthy way once you recognize your patterns and consciously choose to interrupt them. Life wants to love you, so let it. Not just life, but everybody that does love you wants to love you. The more that you are like this, they stand to lose you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because there's a heavy penalty. You keep going, doing what you're doing, okay? So we have 31 in reverse. Pardon me. Uh, sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you toward a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. I told you in the beginning they did this for attention. Or you may want to reunite with a partner who rejected you because you believe that your love contains continues to be strong, but deep down what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. Now's the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives, drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness you seek. So once you speak truth to yourself, to whomever you're dealing with, you ask for forgiveness, you're able to heal and move on from that and get on to your path, what is truly meant for you. So what's meant for you is always going to be for you. You need to get on in alignment with that. You need to clear out the past. You need to fix what was broken. Take accountability where you need to heal yourself, heal situations, um, and move on from it. Don't dwindle. Don't 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 dawdle. Don't what's don't wallow. What is done is done. You just need to move on. Accept radical acceptance, right? I hope this helps. I'm giving a lot of love, lots of healing, because you need it. You really do. Okay, we make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up too badly. Just get on with it. Get on with the work of healing and moving forward. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.